it's the day before the big day and it's been a really long hard day today this morning I was really grumpy as I kind of just was really grumpy grumpy with everything and I think that's just part of the, the whole wind up the whole stress of it all and then I kind of like got on with it and just dealt with what I needed to do it's been um I just kind of like had to disappear then because like Maddie's dialysis machine but went off in the alarm and it's like oh heck so I get up and sort that out and this is kind of like how kind of like crazy my life is now as I try and juggle between what I need to do for me and what I need to do for Maddie. But um, today I was going to go have my hair cut, but I've just run out of time and it's nine o'clock at night now and I'm thinking I still need to pack my bags for hospital. I've ploughed through a mountain load of paperwork, still heaps I haven't achieved. Um, it's just going to have to wait till I get out next week. I am I can see that I'm probably not going to sleep tonight, I feel quite... I wouldn't say tense, but I do have, I do have some fears. Um, and I just want tomorrow to come around. It's going to drag in the morning because I've got to have all those radiation injections and wait for all that for those two or three hours. I, it's just, yeah, it just feels like everything's going on an absolute go slow. I'm um, really, really grateful that um, Catherine and Murray came and brought us a meal tonight. We They just arrived the wonderful, lovely hot lasagna dropped off the meal and left us and we were able to have our last family meal together um, and then the kids shot off to friends houses and bits and pieces and we've hooked up Maddie early tonight on dialysis so she'll be finished early in the morning so we can disconnect her so Adam can be with me at the hospital everything today just was just kind of like the start of how it's all going to have to be juggled around and what needs to be done and how it can happen and, and also a really good day of some things aren't going to happen and we'll just have to live with that